All right, I'm here with Coach Elise. Coach, just tell me a little bit about what you see in this year's infield. Uh, this year's infield, uh, you know, I, we ask our kids to be able to play two positions in our infield. It's as much depth as we've had in our infield in years. I really like uh, what I'm seeing at third, short, second, first. I think it's competitive, and I think guys are interchangeable. I think if somebody was to get hurt or we wanted to see a different lineup versus speed or power, I think we're able to adapt in all those situations because we're, we're that equal in the infield, which really excites me. You got a nice mix of, uh, of youngsters and a nice mix of veterans. Tell me a little bit about how that's going to balance out this, this infield. Well, we have a, obviously a returner of, of Carter Bell, Parker Burbrett's playing a little, a little more first than they did last year. Being able to have two catchers that I feel are quality Division One, Pac-10 catchers is a plus. They both have very good bats, so we've got to find a way to keep them in the lineup. And that's where you know Parker's made a great adjustment at first base. We've also got Dylan Jones and Danny Hayes provided some power. And uh, they can obviously play first base as well. The addition of Jake Rodriguez coming in behind Carter Bell. Jake's learning to play second and third. I feel like he can start in either one of those spots. Uh, shortstop, I like Car you know Carter Bell. He played there last year, can play there again this year. The addition of Kevin Kyes, who is a high school uh, young man from Utah, coming in and playing. We've got Tyler Smith back with veteran as a veteran player who, in my opinion, could be one of the top three second basemen in the Pac-10. I think with another year of maturity, um, it's going to be even that much better. But I'd put Tyler up against anybody at second, and I'd put, a, put Carter Bell against anybody at third in the whole country with the ability to pick a baseball, throw accurate, and not have errors. You mentioned Kevin Kyes there. Uh, tell me a little bit about his, you know, a lot of people don't know about his situation. In fact, he should be a high school senior right now. Well, uh, very fortunate that uh, Kevin wanted to graduate early. I think he's going to add, uh, he's a switch hitter, which also helps us. But uh, he would remind me of Joey Wong a little bit in regards to being able to pick up the routine ball and make a play that's a little bit outstanding. Uh, Kevin can play on the other side of the bag at second, but for right now, because you know he's new, we're trying to get him acclimated so he feels very good with one position. But in a couple weeks, I think he will be ready to go. You also mentioned Carter Bell. Uh, Carter played for Team Canada this past summer. How do you feel that kind of helped his confidence uh, coming up to his junior year? Well, I don't know about confidence. Uh, I think Carter has always had the confidence. I think he possesses an energy and enthusiasm that's very catching to anybody around him. Um, I put him specifically in charge of our infield, and they they come with him, they leave with him, and that's what I like about Carter. I'm looking for him to make a, a, a big jump, uh, not so much defensively because I think it's I think that's the thing he very, does very very well. But I think he's going to make a huge jump offensively as well. You also touched a little bit upon the upon the catching with Andrew Susak and Parker Berberet. Uh Can you just talk about them a little bit more, and you know how you feel about how they stack up against the rest of the Pac-10? Well, I, I think both of them are as good as anybody in the Pac-10. I think that Andrew has a little bit better uh, arm at times, uh, and I think they both are getting, you know, Parker's really helped Andrew with the ability to communicate with pitchers, with the ability to run a game. And I think that that's what's so unique about these two is that they both want to play, they're both willing to help out each other, and we're very fortunate to have two guys that are in it together. And you know, if one was to get hurt, we wouldn't drop off. If the other one was to get hurt, same thing. And we're versatile with, uh, with Parker. And I, I really think they're both going to hit. I think they're going to both receive, block, throw, do all the things necessary for us to be able to, to run a high-quality pitching staff. And one last one. You know, you, uh, Carter Bell and Parker are both uh, team captains for the year. As the guy who oversees the, uh, the infield, how key is that to you to have two of your team captains, you know, where you, where you specifically coach? Well, what's, what's real neat about that is that they're both older kids, and I think uh, the team really takes a hold of the work ethic that both of them put in on a daily basis. They not only work hard, but they're on and off the field, are, are quality kids, and they're good enough, too, that they can say something to another kid that, that they'll listen to, help maybe understand the big picture of what the coaching staff is looking for on a daily basis, whether it be practice, game, individuals, whatever it may be. And, you know, obviously, I think behind the plate is huge. I think that's got to be the toughest guy on the whole field. And he's our, our, you know, field general. He's our quarterback. He's our point guard. And with his energy and enthusiasm, you know, it just becomes catching everybody else in that infield.
Great. All right, Coach Lee, thanks for taking a few minutes with us to talk about the infield. Thank you.